Skull and Bones Secret Society was originally called the Brotherhood of Death. George Bush Jr., his father George H.W. Bush, and his grandfather Prescott Bush have all been initiated into this macabre fraternity, which was established in 1832 at Yale University by William Huntington Russell, whose family were America's biggest opium smugglers. George W. Bush was initiated into the Skull and Bones Brotherhood of Death in 1968. The ceremony took place at the Society's headquarters, which is a stone building with almost no windows. This mausoleum-type building is known as the Tomb. There is a small enclosed courtyard, an internal chamber where initiates lay masturbating inside a coffin, and a museum of artefacts held sacred by the Society's members, which are all called Bonesmen, regardless if they are male or female. Many of the artefacts inside the Skull and Bones headquarters have been stolen by its members. To prove their devotion to the Brotherhood of Death, Bonesmen have robbed graves, bringing human skulls and skeletons back to their tomb and placing them in glass display cabinets. For nearly 40 years, George W. Bush has been an active member of this most bloodthirsty occult secret society. His allegiance is primarily to his fellow Bonesmen, not the American people. In order to prove his devotion to the Skull and Bones, Prescott Bush, grandfather of George W. Bush, savagely desecrated the grave of Apache Indian Chief Geronimo. Prescott Bush robbed Geronimo's grave and had Geronimo's skull placed in a display case alongside the Order's other treasured possessions, which include silver tableware from Hitler's Eagle's Nest headquarters in Nazi-occupied Austria. Welcome to the satanically inspired secret world of the Skull and Bones Brotherhood of Death. Welcome to the sick world of the Bush family. One by one, each new member is thrust to his knees and bows before the devil. A naked woman is ceremoniously assaulted with a dagger. The devil lays each initiate into a coffin and a ribbon is tied to their genitalia. Everyone is encouraged to divulge their entire sexual life history whilst masturbating. With all their innermost secrets known to the other Bonesmen, the new initiates are threatened with blackmail if they ever reveal the secrets of this Masonic order. At this point, they are dressed in long robes and rechristened with their occult names. The Don Quixote character taps each member on the shoulder with a silver sword and proclaims, by our order, I dub thee Knight of Eulogia. We can exclusively reveal that George Bush Sr.'s occult name is Magog, which is the name of the evil army commanded by Satan to visit Earth and destroy the Kingdom of Christ. The American Ivy League colleges each have their own branches of the Skull and Bones Brotherhood of Death, indoctrinating the children of America's elite families who go on to become the captains of industry, banking, law, military and the media. The epicenter of this elite cabal is Yale University. The last three presidents attended Yale, as did the terrorist expert Paul Bremer III, who governs Iraq for the Bush-Cheney Skull and Bones elite. 
members of the Anglo-American Illuminati network also share the same philosophy. They believe in a single all-powerful superstate, which is governed by a single world leader. If the Illuminati were successful and their dream would come true, it would be a virtual hell on earth. That is what the New World Order is all about. It's a living hell. It's Orwell's worst dream and nightmare. 